Hello, my name is Kevin Ho, and I'm going to be doing an analysis of the poem Immigrants by Pat Mora, which is one of my favorites, if, if not my favorite poem. I apologize if I misspeak or it's hard to understand what I'm saying. I'm a little bit sick right now. For some background information, I think it should be known that both of my parents are first generation immigrants, with my mom being from France and my dad being from Vietnam, making me and my brother second generation immigrants. Pat Moore's poem highlights a few themes concerning raising second generation immigrants, all of which have applied heavily to my adolescent and infant upbringing in the United States. The reason I enjoy reading this poem so much is because it hits incredibly close to home and it portrays specific themes that are tremendously personal to me. With that being said, I'm going to try my best to read Immigrants by Pat Moore. Immigrants. Wrap their babies in the American flag. Feed them mashed hot dogs and apple pie. Name them Bill and Daisy. Buy them blonde dolls that blink blue eyes, or a football and tiny cleats before the baby can even walk. Speak to them in thick English. Hello, baby, hello. Whisper in Spanish or Polish when the babies sleep. Whisper in a dark parent bed that dark parents fear. Will they like our boy, our girl, our fine American boy? Our fine American girl? For one, Moore decides to immediately dive into the subject of cultural assimilation during the first stanza of, uh, of the poem. She references stereotypical American names like Bill and Daisy, even going so far as suggesting to give the baby a football, one of America's most stereotypical sports. Mora further develops the theme of cultural assimilation as she references parents only speaking to their children in thick English, representing many first-generation immigrants' parents' desire for their, for their children to become completely culturally assimilated, even if it is at the cost of the parents' own unique culture. From my own personal experience, I can concur that first-generation immigrant parents place a great deal of stress on assimilating their child into American culture, much more stress than they apply towards keeping and instilling their own unique culture upon their children. For example, my parents told me that when they were coming up with my name, my mom originally had the idea of Emmanuel, which I think is a super cool name, but it was changed to Kevin because my dad had believed that I would be made fun of for having such a non-American name. As bad as it is to say, I believe that my parents, more, uh, I believe that my parents, more specifically my dad's, fear of humiliation that he projected onto me derives from his own personal experience with looking and speaking differently than everyone else in an unfamiliar, unfamiliar culture. I can only imagine how life-changing and traumatic it would be to go, with, to go through what he went through and so I can respect the concerns and desires towards making me as American as possible. Moore continues the second stanza, continuing on the theme of cultural assimilation, particularly, particularly the idea of cultural repression by immigrant parents, which aims to hide their own cultural identity from their children with the hopes that their children have an easier time fitting in with an American culture without their parents' background holding them back. When the poem questions, Will they like our boy, our girl, our fine American boy, our fine American girl? Moore is suggesting the true reality that most, if not all, immigrant parents question and doubt themselves as to whether they are truly doing all that they can to help their children belong in American society. In regards to the question of how this embodies American poetry, I can say two things for certain. One is that there is no objective definition of American poetry that pertains to every single American. Because, two, what it means to be American is different for every American. To me, this poem perfectly defines my version of American upbringing, and in turn, it embodies my personal definition of American poetry. Thank you guys for listening, and uh, I hope you got something from that.